How can a space program tragedy help you become a better presenter? The answer to that question will be found in this Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. On January 27, 1967, during a test on the launch pad of Apollo 1, three American astronauts died in an in-cabin fire. Obviously, an epic tragedy. It threatened to derail the entire Apollo space program, meaning we would not land on the moon. After 18 months of intense investigation and correction, Apollo again flew in mid-1968. What came from that, though, was a new attitude, a new direction for the space program. Director Gene Krantz added two words to Apollo's mission statement. Those two words were tough and competent. Tough meaning we must never shirk from our responsibilities. We have to accept the mistakes we made as an organization that led to that awful tragedy. Never repeat them. Be accountable to each other and to ourselves. Competent meaning we take nothing for granted. We learn from every mistake. We repeat what led to our successes. We discover how we can avoid future mistakes and make ourselves more efficient and make the lives of our astronauts safer. This new attitude, this new mission statement, if you will, led to the first safe landing on the moon in July of 1969. It also continued to evolve. One of the famous lines from the movie Apollo 13 was, failure is not an option. Why were those words spoken? Because 200,000 miles from Earth, there was a major explosion on the Apollo spacecraft. The lives of the three astronauts were in mortal danger. Because of previous experiences, the accountability and the willing to learn from their mistakes, NASA came together, hundreds of thousands of people, and made sure those astronauts came home, which they did safely. I've said it before, as speakers and presenters, we're not talking life and death situations here. However, there's an important lesson to learn here. You are going to make mistakes every time you speak. Every time you give a presentation, something will go wrong. The question is, what will you do with it? How will you learn from it? Two weeks ago, I was working on a story. It was awful. It's nowhere near where I wanted it to be, but I've learned from it. I needed a good pep talk from my coach to make me realize that no, I'm not an awful storyteller. I just had one of those days. We all go through it. The lesson from today's tip is simply this. Accept that you're going to make mistakes. Learn from them. Incorporate that knowledge into the next version of your presentation, and I promise you it will be better. You'll also make an, another mistake in that one and learn from that. It's a constant evolution. But if you do this, you will become a memorable and unforgettable presenter who leaves a lasting impression on others. See you on our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.